I see a lot of patients who've had chemical burns because that's a particular interest of mine. Um, they're obviously on the increase, as you've heard in the media, so um, they're often called acid attacks, but often um, are not just as a result of acids. They can be also alkali splashing into your eye, um, so domestic alkalis for cleaning, um, industrial incidents, so they can be blast injuries, for example, um, at, at work, uh, chemicals in labs. Um, but also uh, things around the home, so um, cleaners around the home, sometimes um, hot oil from um, uh, deep frat fryers. Uh, and they're all things that can have, if they're not treated appropriately, have a significant impact on your vision long term and also limits the treatments that you can have. So I have several patients who have had chemical assaults to their eyes and they've, been, they've lost vision. Um, uh, some in both eyes, more often in one luckily, so they have the, they're able to rely on their other eye for vision. Um, the most important thing to do when you get a, um, a chemical attack in your eyes is to irrigate it. So wash it out with water, with you know, bottled water, put someone under a shower, try and prevent them from rubbing their eye because that can rub the chemical all over the eye and spread it. So that's the immediate treatment and then the next thing is get them straight to an, uh, an eye casualty or an accident emergency department where they can then look at the pH on the surface of the eye and uh, irrigate it to a normal pH. And then it requires investigation uh, as to how much damage is done and there's lots of different treatments that we do including uh, multiple eye drops that can reduce the inflammation and the scarring and the healing and promote the healing. Uh, but in, in rare cases we then need to do surgery uh, and in uh, in, in a you know, much smaller group of patients we need to do um, stem cell treatments. The most important reason for seeing someone uh, who's had a chemical burn is to make sure that there's nothing there that will persist uh, and if there's anything that can be done for the healing early on that's your best opportunity. The longer you leave it and the more scarring that you get the less likely it is that you'll be able to um, get away without having surgery. So the earlier we see patients the better.